have just arrived in Chinatown. I'm here with my mum. Magic Mike live show is right there. I was just telling her about it. But anyway, we are literally coming up to Chinatown. So I'll show you when we get to the restaurant, maybe a couple clips of it if I can film. And yeah, it's pretty early. It's only like midday, but I'm hungry. I didn't have breakfast. So hopefully we can get a good lunch. Oh, this place called bubble wrap looks nice. I thought it was like a crepe dessert. I think it is. I think it's like, yeah, wrapped crepe. It looks good. And bubble tea. I'm currently doing a foot peel mask. Um, this is one I found in TK Maxx. As you can see from the price, it was five pounds. And it's one use. You only get one pair. But yeah, it looks really weird. It looks a bit funny. But um, luckily, I'm just sat at home and I have the 45 minutes I need to you know, just let the mask and the gel sit. And yeah, it's a Korean brand. So if you want to read anything, you can, but basically you just leave the socks on. It's like a, yeah, a kind of not overnight, but a intensive foot mask. And I feel like I should start using more lip masks, hand masks, this sort of thing, because we we kind of neglect the rest of our skin. It's like we just do face masks. So this is something interesting, something new. Even though it's not summer, I'm still going to be wearing like boots and stuff. Um, if it works really well, then I might, you know, want to buy it again. And it might be really good to just keep using regularly. So this is an exciting new addition to Aldi. They Their vegan range is called Plant Menu. Um, they have a um you know chinese uh, duck pancake kit so i actually forgot i don't have cucumber or spring onion but obviously the main thing is the duck and the sauce so i will yeah i'll just eat it like that um because i don't really want to substitute it with anything else i feel like that's not going to be very nice but very very excited to test this out and i will try and film what it looks like but i'm sure it's going to be lovely Who would have thought in the garden center that I would find Dior and Chanel books? Interesting. So I managed to find a really cool vegan cookbook. So I'm gonna get this one. It's on offer for nine pounds. And my mum nicely agreed to get it for me. And I'm a bit lazy with cooking. So this one's gonna be really easy to use, I think. Just a little update on what I got. My mum, like I said, got me this, the One Pot Vegan recipe book. So I'm probably gonna buy some ingredients tonight, to start um, cooking tomorrow from it. Um, here, I don't know if this is supposed to be like a vegan milk chocolate. I hope it is, because that's my favorite kind, but it's from the brand Montezuma's. And yeah, vegan chocolate on offer. So I thought one pound is a really good deal. This awesome dressing, yuzu salad sauce, so I can make some really great like Asian, I think Japanese recipes. And then Biscoff, which I'm pretty sure I knew always was vegan. And yeah, the ingredients, there's nothing non-vegan, thank God. So I think I'll make cookies and then use this as a bit of a spread over the top. It's gonna be amazing. You guys, Kylie Jenner voice. Um, I'm quite proud of myself. I've, for the first time in a long time, literally spent about 40 minutes cooking from scratch, got all these ingredients and I made paella. And this looks a little weird, but it is sm it's kind of like smoked tofu. So it's just kind of pan fried in small slices. And then obviously mixed in, um, it's gonna taste it better and be less dry. But yeah, it's I've got my protein, um, got a vegetable paella, so paella, I guess is the correct pronunciation, but I'm quite proud of myself. Looks quite nice. Now for the taste test to see if it actually tastes good, but I think it will. Hey guys, a quick update. So we went to, I think that you're watching this clip right after I went to, um, so I think the clip you just watched, I'm forgetting all my words, was when we went to Cyan Park, which I don't know if I said the name, but yeah, we went to, um, it's this park in, I think, West, Lo yeah, West London Park, and they have a like garden center and shops and stuff, and they just opened the Lakeland, so we went there as well. And yeah, they have amazing food. I think I showed you a few clips maybe. Um, my dog really liked it. And yeah, they had some vegan options. So I got Biscoff. Uh, spread which was amazing I've already had a little bit on some bread and then I think I'm going to save it for cookies like I want to make a small batch of cookies sometime soon 
and then use that in the middle and make make like a cookie sandwich i think that would be amazing and then yeah so i just got some ingredients and things there we didn't really buy a lot my mom got me a cookbook which i think i showed you as well and i already have um made a recipe which i'll show you, you might see it in the kitchen there that's the pan that i was just cooking in but i think um the next clip you'll see is me showing my food but i made an amazing paella so or paella i think is the right pronunciation um so i'm trying to cook more and yeah first kind of cook fresh food from recipes and stuff although i do love my ready meals and just kind of having um sandwiches i'm obsessed with sandwiches if a shop does a good vegan one i will buy it guaranteed um but i am trying to get more into like cooking and being a little healthier and more protein and stuff like that so yeah that's i guess we could say is a resolution for the year and nothing exciting as you can see i am just at home so i'm not really doing much i went to i'm um, no, i didn't go anywhere but i'm about to go to a couple of shops with my parents do an afternoon walk with our dog and then i filmed a video so i have a little bit of makeup on um that's why i'm filming this clip now because i actually look decent so yeah i filmed a youtube video a tiktok which also goes on instagram so a little bit of content i need, I need to edit and upload that um a little bit later but that video that i did will be up probably before this vlog and then, yeah, nothing really exciting. I'm just trying to give you guys a couple of updates of my normal life. I don't know. Some people are probably interested in watching normal vlogs as well. Um, and yeah, nothing crazy. I'm going out with a friend tomorrow, but I don't think I will really film much there because it's just uh, for dinner. What else? nothing much just going about my day cleaning cooking doing affirmations nothing crazy one thing i forgot to say just as i finished that clip is that i'm trying to convince my parents to um or even just like my mom or my dad like i'm happy to just do a really really short quick european trip i want to convince them to go on holiday because i technically haven't been traveling in a while and definitely not abroad in a while so i'm kind of and i'm getting a bit of fomo looking at other people traveling my friends and i'm like do you know what i have the opportunity i'm able to do it so why not just do a quick you know nothing no extravagant holidays um across the world but just somewhere in europe because it's not definitely not far you can get there within a couple of hours by flight um some places even by train so yeah i would like to maybe book something in so i'll keep you updated i'll, I'll keep you updated so I just came back from the shops. I thought I'd do a little update. And I only have one item to show you guys, but I did buy a bunch of Christmas, not Christmas presents, birthday presents, which my birthday's in May. Um, and usually with my mum, if I see something I like, I'm just like, can this be for my birthday? Can this be for Christmas? And that way, you know, I've picked out exactly what I want. She doesn't have to worry about it. It's kind of sorted. And it's things that I need or really want. So yeah, it's a perfect... Um, set up so luckily yeah, she allowed me to pick out a couple of stuff we went to the shop they had a sale on so you'll see that in may not that you guys are holding your breath till then but you know um i did get it from a charity shop a really lovely scarf here i'm gonna put it through the wash so if you can see here yeah it's just a nice classic scarf it is made from um recycled polyester so it's not like a wool blend or which i prefer because i'm vegan <laughs> but um yeah it's not like any kind of high-end expensive one originally it was only 12 pound 50 but it's got the original tag and it's never been used so really really great find from a charity shop uh the money goes to charity i'm buying second hand i'm being more sustainable and i got it for just four pounds and it's really soft and lovely so thought i'd just show you guys that not an exciting update but at least a bit of a haul included in this vlog. <laughs> 